Hello, welcome back to Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster. So last episode, we went through the uh, Cavern of Earth and found a ruby that we fed to a giant so that we could talk to this old dude here who told us to head back to the Cavern of Earth. We killed that vampire for nothing. Sada. I'm sad I had to talk to you. <laughs> that was bad. That was mean. I'm sorry, guy. I shouldn't make fun of your name. And hey, lesser tigers. So, first thing I'm going to do is actually head back to uh, the town, Melmond, and uh, rest up. So, my black mage actually died in that fight. I really need... I really wish he'd have more health. I got hit with a uh, critical hit, which just... Oop, done. Critical hit, and then two more hits. All three tigers attacked my black mage. Three, three tigers, and all three of them went after black mage, one of them getting a critical hit. That sucked. Use the life spell on white on black mage. I suppose I sh should show. Next time I use the life spell, even if it's for a uh, boring battle, if I use the life spell, I will show what it does. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, I am going to rest first, just because uh, that cave. Ah, shadows. That cave took a lot out of me. So. Because, I mean, you see... White Mate especially is very low on, uh... Most... Magic levels now. Black Mate, not so much. Use some magic, but not too much. And, uh, my health does get pretty low as well. Yay, I made it without another fight. Alright. Oh, and hey, the music here has gotten a lot, uh... Am I wrong, or wasn't the music there a lot... grimmer last time I was here? In any event... I am refreshed. I should probably spend some, uh... I should probably spend some money on some more stuff. How are my items doing? Yeah, potions are getting a little bit low. And, oh, I definitely need, uh... So where's the item shop? You do have an item shop here. Do they not have an item shop here? Magic, magic. That was the church. Huh. For some reason, I thought they did have a magic shop here, or a, uh, an item shop here in Melman. But, uh, it certainly looks like they don't. Well, okay. Uh, I am going to go to another another town so I can repre uh, replenish my items. And then I'll meet you back here. I leveled up. Figured I'd show the level. So, 
good level for fighter. Health and everything, except agility. Pretty good. Good level for thief. Good level for white mage. Over 400 HP for white mage now. And let me guess, black mage gets 2 HP. Oh, 3 HP. Woo, got a whole 3 extra hit points. Woohoo! Agility and intellect as well. So, that's what this level gave me. Alright, so I've replenished my, uh... I like a rod of beauty flower for a major. Yeah. So I've replenished my items. Picked up a few new things. Picked up some high potions. 108 hit 50 HP. Got a bunch more antidotes, eye drops, echo grass, and gold needles. Got a few more sleeping bags and tents. I uh, got uh, mithril gloves for fighter. Gloves made of mithril. And even more important, I got Invisera and Pratera for white mage, and Thundaga and Quake for black mage. So I decided to get uh, some new spells for those two. Uh, extremely expensive, but powerful ones. Each of those spells was 13,000 gil, so spent 50, 52,000 gil on just those four magic spells. But, they're good ones. Raises the party's evasion and raises the party's defense. Lightning damage to all enemies and earthquake to swallow enemies. So, those two spells just do a lot of damage. While White Mage's new spells are just uh, really good protection magic. It is down here. I don't know exactly how likely I am to use uh, most of these new spells in this cave. Realistically, I probably won't be using in this cave, but they are useful spells to have. Even if that did uh, take my, my, my guild down for a bit. But I mean, I'll be using them eventually. Like, even if I don't use them in this cave, I'll use them in future, uh, future dungeons. So, yeah. All right. And I am going to just go back to where I fought the vampire. I won't go, won't show the entire route again. So I will meet you back in the vampire's lair. I don't think I've shown off Thyraga yet. And, uh, this seems like a good time, really. A lot of uh, ogre chiefs. Damn, Thyrog is awesome. Anyway, I'm just about back to the. Uh... Here we go. Yay, cockatrice. Hopefully, they don't stone me. Of course, they still. And that means Fighter got... Oh, Fighter did get experience. <laughs> and yeah. Well, that's why I bought a whole bunch of uh, gold needles. So yeah, this is where we fought the vampire before. Beat his ass. Uh, 
So now we come back here. And this stone slab. We couldn't do anything before. But now we have a staff. And it reveals a new pathway. To B4. Basement 4. All right, and we're not going to be getting any easier fights here, sadly. Oh, this isn't too tough. And there it is. Biscuit demons. These are just skippable fights now because they're pretty easy. All right, treasure room. And obviously monsters. Painadons. These aren't new, I don't think. Ogre Mage is new, actually, though. Yeah. Not much of a difference there. Yeah. Ogre mages can heal. Yeah, even the black mage is uh, taking no damage from the ogre chief. Blink. Raises his evasion. Didn't help him there. And level 25! Woo! Milestone level, but it doesn't matter. It's nothing. 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 A staff. Yippee. Dark. Ooh. Yeah, with a good enough uh, accuracy rate. Even Dark doesn't really do much, frankly. Jeez! Thief just fallen for everything today. Thirty four to kill, useful. Oh, and Dark does uh, clear up at the end. I wasn't sure if. In some games, Dark clears off at the end of, uh, and in some games, Dark just sticks around after you, after, uh, end of a fight. This is not one of them. That's convenient. Sphinx, this is a new one. Not a dangerous one. Yeah, see? They can hit. They take a few hits. They take a little bit of damage and they can actually be they can actually deal some uh, moderate damage. Sticking with potions for now. Gil and hey, monsters! Two more sphinxes. So yeah, they can do a little bit of damage, but it's not too bad. And uh, they can take a little bit of damage, but again, it's nothing too serious, nothing to worry about uh, this stage. Unless they sort of gang up on your black mage. And more gill. Trolls, haha. <laughs> and they do have weird hair. Weird colors and weird hair. Huh. The dolls were 
the dolls were right. They do kind of weirdly look a little like troll dolls in a weird way. Kind of, sort of, somehow. Uh, this one does have a lot more... So dead ends. Ooh, six cockatrices. Without a, uh... Actually gonna use a Thundara here. Without a preemptive attack, this can be an incredibly dangerous fight. With a preemptive attack, it's that. But yeah, six cockatrices. That uh, if they get a like if they ambush you, that could be that could very easily be a game over. Stone is no joke. Four Pesca Demons. It'll still be easy. Ah, how far am I from the... Here we go. And there's treasure down this way. See? Treasure! The first monsters, as usual. I'm not too worried just because, uh. Yeah. Thief can still... Thief and Fighter can still hit things. What Dark does is it makes... is it reduces your accuracy. But... I mean, you see that I'm still hitting things. Consistently. That's my health. Health is fine. Yeah. And yeah, just going to set auto combat on. Just to speed through it a little bit. Ambush. That's not good. So it's not a big deal either. And yeah, as usual, just with Zara. Not huge damage, but yeah. All right, I'm gonna have to start going for, for the ogre mages first, I think. And Mithril Shield. You can buy that in the town that I... In the same town as you get all those level 6 spells. Uh, that town I went, by, went to by accident before. You can get the Mithril Shield there. But you can get it here. Shield crafted for Mithril. Couldn't remember if I got the... Uh, Yeah, just going to get the uh, some big health uh, restores here. I did buy myself a few ethers as well, so depending on how my health is doing once I get to the end of this, uh, we'll see. 
We'll see if I need to use ethers. We shall see. Whoops. And... Well, my black mage died, so... I was just up the Pisco Demon. Woo, good, good. For a second, I was worried the Pisco Demon would attack kill my Black Mage again. That would have been a shame. Yeah, I don't like when people... I don't like when they... Man, they, they just... All three of them. All three of them went after the Black Mage. Like, that's not cool. That's just rude. And, uh, this floor. The fifth floor. There's no treasures here. This is just a matter of going straight to the boss. Uh, who is... Just a little down. Earth Elemental, haven't seen one of these uh, in a while. Don't often see these guys outside of the chests. They're still not very tough. Alright, so the boss is through that door. Um... Yeah, I don't really need to... I probably don't really need to worry about, uh, my magic here. Yeah, I think I'll be fine. Yeah, I think I'm good. This may not be an easy fight. This may be kind of a tough fight. We shall see how I do. Oh, hey! And oh, look, a crystal! That crystal looks like something that we've seen. By which I mean it looks like one of these crystals down on the left of the menu. Also, already back up to 70,000 gil. Just getting back down without like any detours or anything. Just getting back down to here. Alright. Who speaks to me? Orb. I am he who feeds on the power of Earth. I will not be disturbed by mortal men. I am the Lich, fiend of Earth. Nice theme song, dude. Wow, that voice was not easy on the uh, throat. Um... Uh... 
weird. Funnily enough, one of the null spells would have been really useful here. Null flame, uh, the null fire, or null or null blaze, or null frost. One of those actually would have been useful because he can cast uh, those among others among other spells. Let's go with protect. And well, that's inconvenient. Not sure. I don't think this actually helps against uh, magic, unfortunately. Nor does this one. Hey! So neither of these actually help against magic, but... Alright. Thief, much more powerful now. And... Going to Diaga is risky, considering uh, young Diaga might be useful, but... He is undead. So let's go with Diaga. And. Wow, was that 12 hits? Diaga does pretty good. I should have used... whoops. I actually should have replenished her health for magic. On him. And, uh... Since... My fighter is still, uh, paralyzed... I don't think I actually have anything that can deal with, uh, paralysis. But, let's hit him with the Fyraga. Yeah, 12 hits. <laughs> and there we go! Fighter was no help in that fight, but... Not bad at all. Could have gone worse. Uh, you know, if he got a couple of magic attacks off. If he, like, if he got another magic attack off before White Mage had managed to heal Black Mage. That would have sucked. Uh, should have hit him with a silence. I tried, should have tried to hit him with a silence at the start. Oh well. No big loss. Uh, I still beat him. Uh, quite handily. Because I am. Overleveled, because I like being overleveled. I do enjoy being more powerful than I need to be. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, you can see how that can be a really tough fight. Uh, you know, Fighter held paralyzed right off the bat, so that was one of my heaviest hitters. Just unavailable throughout the entire fight. Uh, that Blazara he hit me with. Heavy damage, hun over 100 uh, hit points to each character. Which, with Black Mage's health as low as it is, not fun. Uh, so yeah, this level. Alright, over 500 hit points to Fighter. And Fighter is a tank! 24 strength, not bad. Good. He's pretty strong, too. Eh, not much for a thief. Eh. More health for White Mage. I always like White Mage getting more health. I always like seeing that. I like her getting to be tough. And some health for Black Mage! Level 26, and he finally clears 200 hit points. Man, 
It takes a long time for him to get health. But, uh... Yeah, that's... That's good for him. Oh, finally hits 200 hit points. Hopefully he'll continue to get a little bit more health a little bit more quickly than he was doing before. Ah, yes, yeah, so and now a cutscene. The 1987 equivalent of a cutscene. Fanciest cutscene you can get. And yeah, that crystal looks shiny. This is the altar of Earth, from which the power of Earth flows forth. Uh, so yeah. Also, I will say, Lich has some pretty, pretty great music. Good, solid boss music for Lich. So that's one crystal down. And uh, this is very useful. We can just leave. We don't need to go back through the entire dungeon again. It lets us just skip right to the exit. Thank you, buddy. That is very much appreciated. Uh, as I'm not going to be coming and running across anything dangerous on my way back. See, nothing dangerous. So yeah, with the uh, Earth Cavern, Cavern of Earth, with the Earth Crystal restored, let's check out what's happening in Melman. Because it was looking pretty, pretty bad. The like, Earth was looking pretty bad in Melman. With the Earth Crystal restore, it still looks bad, actually. Restore the crystals to grace. Warriors of Light, to you we owe our thanks. The Earth is returning to normal. Stop by my father's shop, okay? I don't know who your father is. I'm just a farmer. Boy, that was a lot. This is good to happen, will you? Yeah. Dear Smitham and Vera is coming back. Smitham and Vera? What? I... what? Smetum uh, is a Scots term. Uh, spirit, energy, drive, vigorous resourcefulness. Ver and vigor. And Ver clearly is just... Strength, Force, Vigor. So Vigor. Oh, Scott. Never change, you weird-ass language. I mean, I'm half Scottish. I, you know, my mom's from Scotland. I never heard stuff like this. It's a weird-ass language. Anyway. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone else has anything else interesting to say. You are the Warriors of Light, are you? Why, yes, I am.
the Earth crystal must be shining again. Must be, and I'm th thank for it. Because I'm awesome. Should I get the knight's armor? I can actually afford the knight's armor now. I probably don't really need it. Yeah, I'm actually going to still say no to it. I'm still not going to get the, uh, the knight's armor. It is really expensive. Uh, so... Let's heal real quick. And we don't really know where to go next. Except I do. I think I will actually cut this episode a little bit shorter than usual. Not too much shorter than usual. And, uh... Next time, we will head to where we need to go. We got all the magic I need from this place, right? That's right, I did. Do wish this place had an item shop, but... I will be going to another city soon, which will have an item shop, so I'll be able to replenish the uh, the potions there, get a couple more antidotes. Nothing else that I really need to worry too much about. sure that I've got the best equipment and everything and everyone and I do. So I did end up using Invisera and Protera. But not Thundaga or Quake. But I'll get a chance to use them soon. Because that's one crystal down. We got three more to go. And, uh... I mean, it's not like they're gonna get any easier, right? Um, but... For now... We defeated a Lich, which is basically a magic skeleton. Liches are undead, and uh, keep themselves alive through pure force of will. I suppose is a bit of uh, just random trivia. Uh, Lich in the past was used as a general term for uh, in, uh, in some fantasy fiction for undead. Not even necessarily undead, but uh, Clark Ashton Smith, for example, 
used it for uh, any corpse, whether animated or inanimate. Uh, obviously, by the time of Dungeons and Dragons, once Dungeons and Dragons came out, uh, it has since been used for a pretty specific term purpose. Uh, an undead wizard. So yeah, so yeah, it's just it's just a skeleton wizard. Which Yeah. Which itself is an archaic English word for corpse. So. The more you know. Anyway, so. That'll do for this episode. So thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one.